Hey guys, JT here with an update on my Hyper T. Um, I did get this thing completely. Let me see if I can turn this light on, see if that'll make it a little bit better. Um, want to let you guys know I did get this thing completed. Um, I did paint it the same color as I had my other one. I am going to have to lower this. I don't remember this being so high. Um, yeah, I'll have to work with that. I'm not sure why it's so high this time. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Um, but I did finish this up and I did complete this. I still got some of the the wrappings on here as well because I just painted the body and stuff and I still have to put a couple more stickers um, on here. But I did use my J Concept tires and wheels and I think these should handle pretty good. I normally use the um, Traxxas Anacondas on here um, but I decided to try these out to see how these would actually work in here now there is a couple of things i want to talk about with the hyper t if you guys ever think about getting one because for me this has been one of the best performing um 10 scale cars out there um, and then they also have a sc version which i don't think is the best performer but i know this platform here um is it's not the most durable though um it is easy to break so i did have a lot of modification parts for it, which i Got rid of, which I'm going to shoot myself in the foot for, but I'll end up uh, re-getting those. Like, they have aluminum chassis braces for the front and for the rear. Um, they have particular aluminum parts here. I don't plan on going all aluminum with this because when you start doing that, other stuff starts to break as well. So I will leave the A-arms um, to be plastic and the rear hub carriers and stuff. But as you see, I have not cleaned all this up yet. But what I want to show to you guys is that there's no room. <laughs> That has been one of the biggest things on the Hyper T is space um, and putting all your electronics and everything in here. Um, I might end up mounting my ESC possibly right here, but I have to make sure, as I did before, that it's over far enough so that this servo arm doesn't hit it as it's going back and forth. Because if it's over too far, of course, it's going to start hitting the, the ESC and stuff and moving that around. Um, and then I can uh, straighten these spaghetti wires that I have going on here, this bird's nest, and mount these down here so that this is more secure here and it don't get caught up in my spare gear or anything. And then I may put the receiver uh, down there. Um, being down here, it will get more dust and even water on it. Um, sometimes I may even put some coating over it or just cover it up so that it won't get too dusty and dirty. Um, so that that is one limitation of the Hyper T, but for me, the sound of it and its performance more than makes up for it. So I did put the Mama Max Pro in here. I have the um, HPI 4000 kV motor in here. This is an excellent motor. Um, right now, it just has a stock gearing. It's just a 12 tooth pinion gearing because I lost my reducer sleeve to fit. I didn't lose it. I damaged it actually. Um, to fit my other type of um, bigger pinion gears on here. So I'll probably go to 15 in here like I've done before um, and get this thing up and running. A 15 or a 16, I'm not sure. With these tires being smaller than the Anacondas, I might be able to get away with a 17. But I'll have to judge that based on heat and performance and runtime and stuff. So, But anyway, I just wanted to show this to you guys real quick. Um, I'll probably try to get this puppy running in the next couple of weeks or so. Got a couple other things I'm kind of trying to work on. See, the problem is with the way this is set up. You see, I'm kind of trying to force the body down on here. So I'll have to work on um, getting this set up right up in here. So that is, like I said, that is uh, one, I guess, if you want to consider a bad thing about the Hyper T. I wish they kind of would do um, some updates to this model. Uh, maybe they can extend this out more, or maybe I'll just create something and mold something to extend this out more, um, or something, because it's just it's very limited on space. It, it really, really is. Maybe they need to make it a little bit longer and a little bit wider, um, or maybe just make it longer. That would allow you more space and stuff. They'd have to redo the body, of course. But that would probably be about it. But um, anyway, don't forget to like or dislike, subscribe if you have not. And as always, stay tuned for more videos. Thanks, guys, for watching.